A lot of times I'm asked, how do you whiten teeth in Photoshop? But the technique that I'm going to show you now will work in most cases. The first thing that we want to do is make a selection around the teeth, and that's going to protect the rest of the image while we work just on whitening up the teeth. I like to do this by going into quick mask mode. So go ahead and press Q on the keyboard. The next thing that we need to do to make the quick mask mode work is select a brush. So press B to select the brush tool. Now this, as you can see, this is rather large. So let's go up to our selection here and drop this down. We'll choose a 35 with a nice soft edge. Make sure the mode is set to normal, the opacity is to 100, and the flow is at 100 as well. Go ahead and click out into the teeth area and start painting. And what we want to do is paint over all the areas of the teeth. And this is going to provide the mask around the teeth to protect the rest of the, uh, the image while we're working on it. Now we can adjust the size of this brush when we get over to these little smaller teeth in here by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard. And as soon as we get right over there, I'll show you. We'll go ahead and push right up into here. These little teeth right down here at the bottom. Use the square bracket key. The one's right next to the P. The left one makes it smaller. The right one makes it larger. So let's go ahead and nudge that down. We'll get a nice small one. We'll paint right across these bottom teeth in here. Right up along here. Fill in a couple little areas that we missed right up along here. Now, if you happen to go out too far, not that big a deal. Watch over here on the left hand side. Notice that we're painting with black. Black is our foreground. Press the letter X on your keyboard and that switches foreground and background colors. Now we'll be painting with white. White will erase areas that you inadvertently uh, colored that you didn't want. Maybe this little area right inside here. Again, watch this lower left area. Hit X and we're back to the black. We can go ahead and finish painting in our mask. Now that we have all the teeth, let's press Q on the keyboard and we have our quick mask. Well, no, not exactly. If you notice, this is selected everything but the teeth. So we'll actually need to invert this. Go up to selection and choose inverse. Now we have our teeth selected. Here's where the magic starts. Go down to your adjustment layer, hue and saturation, and the one that we're interested in is the saturation slider. Go ahead and slide that to the left and notice it's starting to take out some of the yellow. Now we can work just on the yellow if we want. Go ahead and drop that down, choose yellow, and again slide out the yellow. This is no, there's no science right behind here, no number that I can tell you specifically uh, to go in and do. Um, I can tell you that you'll just need to play around with some of these until you get one that looks about right. Go ahead and let's push up some of the, the lightness here. Now that may be just a little bit too much. It's not a problem. Go ahead and say OK. Go up to the opacity. Drop that down and slide it back a little bit and bring a little bit of the, the color back through. You don't want it to look you know, like they have snow white teeth. It looks a little unrealistic. So just play around with these settings until you get it to the way you want it. Let's go ahead and turn off. See this was before and here's after.